All right, welcome back to our Stewie tutorial here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create um, the mouth for Stewie, which is going to be a series of different mouth positions. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a switch layer. We're going to name it mouth. All right, and then we need a new vector layer, which is going to be, we're just going to name that rest, and we're going to put it in the mouth layer. <clears throat> and we don't need the head turned on for right now, so we can turn the head off and turn our Stewie picture back on. We're going to zoom in here, and we're going to go to our rest, because this is going to be Stewie's resting mouth. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add points for Stewie's mouth. We're going to start one here, and we can just put those in there, and we're going to add that right there. Okay, now we need to create those into um, shapes. So we're going to, I'm gonna, let's see here, we can just click on that, hit the space bar, and click on that and make the space bar. Okay, now they're kind of wide up here and they kind of taper off, so we're going to change the width of those down just a little bit to make it look a little more like Stewie's mouth. Now, if we turn the head back on, Stewie now has a resting mouth. So what we're going to do now is we can close the mouth. Let's put it in the head because we want it in the head layer along with the rest of our head layer. So we're going to use the mouth and we're going to drop it inside the head layer so our switch layer is in there. Okay, now if Stewie wants an open, we need an open mouth for Stewie. What we can do is we can open up the mouth switch layer and then we can create a new vector image. Okay, and we're going to put open. Alright, so now what we can do is we can just make a quick open mouth for Stewie here. So this little circle there. And then we're going to make it into a shape. Hit U for create shape. And we don't want it skin colored, so we're going to turn that off so that our fill turns black. There we go. Now Stewie has an open mouth. And that's basically how you know you can do mouths. And then you know when you're animating, you can change his mouth from open to rest and create as many mouth positions as you want. And they all just need to be on different la vector layers inside the mouth switch layer, so that you can switch them back and forth and make Stewie talk. It's just that simple. So, and you can uh, Google. And go to Google and Google like cartoon mouth positions and they'll give you some reference photos of different shapes of the mouth or you know if you watch Family Guy you can see the different mouth shapes that Stewie makes and just try to duplicate those or you can just freehand it and make them however you want and that's just as easy it is to make a mouth for Stewie.